Well, takoyaki was a lot of fun. I can't wait to try another recipe in a few weeks. I have my badge. I have my lunch. Now I just need to grab my shoes and I'll be ready for work. Wait, what's in my shoe? It's not time for this. I'll be late. Oh man, all of these listings were great options. Well, except for this one. Huh, how'd this get here? Oh, I should get that. Hello? Gotta pick out a nice shirt for my date tonight. I guess I left something in the pocket. I don't need this right now. Breakups are the worst. I guess what I need right now is... Ice cream! Vacation checklist. Sunscreen. Check. T-shirts. Check. Switch. This isn't right. Okay, awesome. Ready to go. Google, turn on the bedroom light. You got it. Turning the bedroom lights on. Huh. That's strange. Well, I guess it has been a while since I've played. Cooking Mama. Cooking Mama! Hey everyone, it's Game Tim with another long overdue episode of Cooking with Cooking Mama, a series where I recreate recipes from your favorite cooking games. Today I'll be getting back into the groove of things with an often suggested recipe pancakes. The pancake recipes in Cooking Mama are pretty similar, so I'll be using the variation from the second game. It's been a while since I've had this breakfast time treat, so I'm excited to get into it. Pancakes, also called hot cakes, griddle cakes, or flapjacks, are thin round cakes prepared from a starch-based batter and often contain eggs, milk, or butter. Variations of pancakes are enjoyed around the world and archaeological evidence even suggests they may have been present in prehistoric societies. The ingredients for today's recipe? Pancake mix, milk, an egg, and for the toppings, butter and maple syrup. I hope this video stacks up to my older ones. I don't want to end up in a sticky situation where I may pull it off YouTube. On the flip side, I don't want to let pessimism crepe up on me. This Cooking with Cooking Mama might be butter than ever. So let's flip some pancakes using Cooking Mama's instructions. Thanks for watching! It's actually been a few years since I've made pancakes, so it was great to have Cooking Mama refresh my memory on this simple breakfast staple. I was actually pretty surprised by how simple flipping pancakes without a spatula was. Taking cues from the game, like making one pancake at a time and using a small pan, really made the flip as easy as possible. Looking back, I made something similar to these pancakes with the pajan, which is still probably a name that I'm butchering. And I opted not to flip them back then, but if I knew it was this easy, I probably would have given it a try. 
I don't want to mislead you though, it wasn't super easy. There was still some accidents. It was great tackling this simple, but often requested recipe. Here's the moment of truth though, I'm gonna try a bite. They taste like pancakes, which is great. I would be really concerned if they didn't. They're light, but I think that really speaks to the mix that I used, and they were very fun to make. If you like this and you want to keep up with my upcoming videos, subscribe! And don't forget to comment your suggestions and any future recipe or game recommendations, even if that suggestion is not to use chopsticks to mix pancake batter. See ya!